Ok. I hope everything's unlocked already. Uh, even if it isn't, I shouldn't be. I don't think I'll be able to complete everything today. <laughs> this quest seems to be a bit longer. So let's start and see what, what's going on here. Time to go! <laughs> and get Dory. Huh? There's a new bulletin board here. And it has pictures of fungi on it. Oh. Oh. Interested in capturing well behaved fungi, well behaved, and getting up close and personal with them. Uh, once you try commanding fungi in combat and experience the thrill of defeating powerful opponents like Pokemon, excited about forming your very own fungi team and facing off against other beasts, th beast tamers in an action packed battle. Look no further, the first ever Nilot Nilot Pala Cup Beast Tamers tournament is about to begin. We anticipate your arrival. All you have to do is sign up for the tournament and give it a go. Our full rewards await. Okay. Look no further, this for okay. Bringing fungi to fight each other. This is a very unexpected mode of entertainment. But fungi are monsters! We can't let this go ahead! It's way too dangerous! Let's go check out the tournament! If it's as dangerous as it sounds, at least we'll be there to stop things from getting too out of control. Oh, it's far. Why does it start there? If shouldn't there be a sign at the anchors of Port Ormus? Time to go. Isn't working here. Then again, mm. welcome, contestants, to the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Cautilia a senior Immorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. Mm. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Mm, yeah, that's supposed to be after we save Nahida. Because this was kind of odd for the academia. Worry not! The wisdom orb we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. Mm -hmm. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. What does that have to do with the fun? Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen. A renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. 60 million? The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilud Pala oh. Cup Beast Tamers tournament in the future. So, we probably won't get the full amount. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! Just like that! And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune?
kitchen if you promise to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also, hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? You just want the price of money, don't you? Uh, no, that's not it! It's just, uh, now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little unfair to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. Uh, what works really well? And what could this to the fungi? Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Since there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paimon thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra moros. There are basically no drawbacks. Trying to see what other feels about them. We should stick cautious risks. No. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. They're still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Huh? You know us? But what's with those names? We've never heard them before. You're a tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the Beast Tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons, or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second! You don't look like a staff member! What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? The name's Sunia. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the Wisdom Orb early on. Mm. Anyway, my name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? Mm, you want to team up with us? You guys are worth me getting to know, as allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I'd prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blunt, but also quite honest. It's definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Uh, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? All right then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. Oh, so we even have a uh, safari zone where she we can go. Right to the point, it's not just she? anywhere. This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the Wisdom Orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. The Wisdom Orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. 
For example, well, there, this one next to me is Pyro 1, which means Pyrofungus number 1. You just go after elements and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to Paimon. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? That one's the best coming up with names? No. I also have some suggestions if you're interested. Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro One anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then. Yeah, I'm not going to attach to them. It's just for this event. So, yeah, I'm going to follow her. No <laughs> well. uh, In the film capture challenge, I will run the capture zone. If you are the detector is approached, then they will enter alert state and flee a certain distance from you. The catch noise with no warp when kept will change your element skill to capture skill, hold the image to capture the fungi, that's something as capturing with the net. With my electrode, we will enter special activated state in which the movement speed will be increased. The capture progress fills up will also be increased. We will be parallel, the enter special sparse state will be decreased. Uh, this capture progress. Which maximum the fungus will be can be captured, or which you can name said fungus based on primal suggest based on primal suggestions. Okay, she's gonna give me suggestions. I may go with them. I'm just not gonna come up with names on my own. Okay, and the drill, Tingle Shroom Storm Lord. I like Tingle Shroom. Uh, sounds about right. Bongo head, bongo head, bongo head. Wow. Come up with for the second fungus. Oh, okay, I'll just suggest more the same. The round hat on this little guy's head kind of looks like a drum, don't you think? The first thing that came to Paimon's mind when she saw it was if you hit it on the head, it's definitely gonna go bing bong. Hmm, how does the name Bongo Head sound? I think bing bong is a misc, probably more like a squash. <laughs> That means it likes the name. Okay then, Bongo Head it is! Ah, Bongo Head's just like a little puppy. Paimon's never seen this side of a fungus before. From now on, we need to look out for each other, Bongo Head. Okay, let's go catch some more fungi and make a team for Bongo Head! Can we evolve them? Because there are tires of fungus. As one nope. with wind and cloud. Yeah, big deal. Time to go. So we're going to Rex fighting before capturing more.
Yep. Always hard head. Pressure better. Ikidin, Ushroom, Coolidge. Coolidge. Great, you've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your fungi's abilities. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Reminds me of Mona. Are you hurt? How bad is it? I thought she hasn't been starving lately. Pyro Shop. 1, take it out! Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. I'm just, just a little too tired to walk right now, but I still need to find three more shroom buddies to qualify for the tournament. Hmm. Shouldn't we have chosen which types we wanted? You mean you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe this is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Hey, don't give up. It's not like we're a bunch of Aramites trying to steal your fungi. I, I uh, your shroom buddies. We're better than that. You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena, so we can compete against each other properly. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer, and despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Take it as a compliment. State your name and mission! Golden Comet and Silver Companion shall gladly come to your aid! R really? Then could you please help me collect the rest of the four shroom buddies I need? Uh, does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa's Darshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. And my goal is to, uh, uh, to make it into the quarterfinals. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh of course I'll take good care of them, too. Oh, yeah! Pine that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. Oh, so we'll be able to place them at our home. But what do you mean physical labor? You're a student. Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? Uh, this is pretty embarrassing, but uh, uh so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something. Because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low on energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise oh, makes me... Pretty nice for you. Well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like... Moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates chores to him all the time. 
First she calls them buddies, then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like Elhingen. Well, there was any solo involved. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Huh? Why is Ania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Ania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer... Is she... angry? Hmm... Probably not. She's pretty blunt and doesn't make a great first impression, but she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Maybe she has something hard to do. We'll see her again at the tournament. Yeah, we'll see her again. And when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. In the meantime, let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete. Uh... Thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute, too. I don't want to be a burden to you guys. Well, if I find three more shrooms, but it's a good percent. Okay, I thought I would have to. Now that we put together oh, Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part. Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them. Time to go. Time to go. Let Paimon see how the qualifying rounds are looking. <gasps> Great! We're in a different group from Layla, so we won't have to compete against each other in the early stages of the competition. Actually, I hope I don't have to fight you guys in the later stages either. Oh? Hello there, little ones. Well, she's kind of Sure far. enough, you're at the center of the action once again. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. M uh, Miko? What are you doing here? Is Paimon hallucinating? <laughs> this tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Don't you think a tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment? This seems like a good place to find source material. There are lots of stories you could tell about this. Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. The theme is friendship and rivalry. So we decided to bring our up-and-coming author, Soka, here to gather some inspiration. Okay, so she's going to write the manga. I, of course, need to ensure my writer's manuscripts are up to par. So, I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Here's my little partner in crime. Soka named it Blitzara. I think it's rather good. Very distinctive. I knew there'd be such a big turnout. Even Miko's here. Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're set to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel as major characters. Yes, Chief Editor! For the sake of my readership, I won't back down. I'll beat... beat you! Yeah! with Miku doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Ooh, yes. More of that. Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your archenemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. 
I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just, just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka tour confidant is making me so nervous. I'm losing my, my mind. Hmm. In that case, head back to the inn and capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. This will make excellent source material too. She's terrifying, but she also seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. And who is this softly spoken little lady? She's our new friend, Layla! We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Oh, no. She's just one person away from... Uh... Sayu. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. Training fungi? And then domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. I'm Yai Miko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, I have no idea how to respond to that. Traveler, Paimon, I really appreciate all your help. But I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Don't push yourself too hard, Layla! You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again! Miko? What are you doing scaring a new friend off like that? Oh, am I really so terrifying? Well then, I'll simply have to talk to her again another time to clear things up. But that can wait. Judging from your expression, it seems like you have something you want to say to me, little one. What are you really doing, Smurl? going behind the scenes of disturbance. I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype, and you're not just in this to have some fun. Unfortunately, though, it appears that we're about to be interrupted. Gujiyahe, what an honor to finally meet you. We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Sumeru. Huh? Isn't that the organizer? And that super rich businessman is here too. Goodness, I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed. Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one-on-one? -on -one? How you jest, Gujiyai! Those such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know, with your blessing, it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of, um... Ahem. <clears throat> right now, I am nothing but an ordinary editor-in-chief. I'm here to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern myself with such weighty topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautelia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who has traveled all the way from the Land of Thunder to be here. Not to mention that Gucci Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent remonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive manner, much as you have in your entire career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost entirely unknown. Why, to hear such high praise from the great Guji Yai is more prestige than I could ever hope for. Please, should you require anything at all, do not hesitate to seek my assistance. I will do everything within my ability to make your stay in Sumeru an enjoyable one. Also, to have the renowned traveler here at the tournament is an unexpected delight. 
I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in action. Thank you. Miko, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself, while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Potential liabilities. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies. Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? Couldn't the same be said about... Uh... Slimes? So it wasn't just us. Yeah, we started out with some safety concerns about this event, but the Wisdom Orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved, like our bongo head here. Seems we don't need to be too nervous after all. Oh, Paimon, you're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. Well, it's about time for me to get into character. As a contestant, I need to go and get ready for the tournament. See you in the qualifiers. But Zara, say goodbye to our friends. Coming here was a great idea. Look at us, making new friends, bumping into Miko. Oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun. Come on, let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training, like Hania suggested. Is this guy always here? Champions to be here at long last. Come on now, use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential. Champions to be? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So you've heard about us too? Of course. I was standing right next to you when you collected your wisdom orb. I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. With an expert mentor like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. If even the staff are singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing. Well, all the more reason to give it our all. Oh. During the course skating potential challenge, you must use floor jellies to farm lanes. Their fungi enjoy. Uh, once they have absorbed them, they will awaken their potential. Uh, you switch to exchange position to what you said before. So they change position four and once in a clockwise direction. Okay, so there's a mini game inside. Here's your view to watch train fungi or looking for some interesting questions. Uh, you are? Truth be told, I used to be an ordinary merchant. I studied the promotional principles of commercial events and learn how to cater the needs and wants of the customers. After Mr. Eo Hingen, was that it? I heard about my background, he hired me to come here and help him. His employees in Cautilia, Cautilia organized this competition. His employees are well are all extremely sharp. 
the first form minister El Hingen's traditional business is something suitable for hosting a competition in a very short period of time. Traditional business. Yeah, I hear that Mr. El Hingen used to primarily be in the grocery business. I'm not too sure about the details though. It's amazing that a typical merchant could grow into such a wealthy individual. It's inspiring. So he and is actually pretty open-minded. A really hard. You are really hard too. You no, know, this is also the first time we've met Taiko from Fontaine. He really doesn't give off a special first impression. He wears summer merchant clothes, even though he's from Fontaine. I won't didn't see any expensive accessories either. You really can tell that he's rich. See, that's all just proof that Mr. Elhio is a wonderful person. He's been in Sumer for a really long time and has adopted a local way of life. He's also very low key in everything he does. Mr. Elhio even eats and chats with our employees as if we were his friends. I think the reason he hired me instead of seeking the assistance of a professional merchant is partially to avoid malicious competition. Uh, if he went all out promoting the competition, there might have been other wealthy people interested in investing and sharing a piece of the pie. If that happened, the competition might have lost its original purpose. It sounds really nice, Paimon hopes to find a boss like that if I'm aware to ever look for a job. Paimon, it's not like you have to do any work. We're not talking about your difference. Uh, in your relationship, there's no need to talk about real stuff like more, right? Or about your option. Or... Well, am I not a good boss? We're not talking about your difference. Okay, yeah, same thing. Uh, the name Floral Jelly. Uh, I know what you're gonna say. I hear that the Bahamana researchers studied manuscripts from all over the body came up to the preliminary conclusion that using certain suffixes in a name makes it sound extremely cute, <laughs> I have to say. I cannot agree. Uh, Cautilia repeatedly emphasized that his research is glorious and groundbreaking, and that it needed a name that's out of this world. But Mr. Elhingen rejected all his proposals. Mr. Elhingen believed that since most people find fungi to be cute little creatures, it would only be fitting if the official names used in the competition followed suit. After several heated debates, the name Floral Jelly was retained, along with the easy to understand name Wilson Park. But Mr. Elhingen did let Cautilia dis decide the other names. It's a good thing that most of those names are only used to communicate with future collaborators and are used by the contestants. What is with this Cautilia guy? It's like he's always trying to show off how amazing he is. It seems like he's really pushy. He shouldn't do that, even if he truly is amazing. He is clearly more reasonable. I think so too. He doesn't get along with many of the staff. Even Mr. Dohian has to make compromise with him at times. If you run for his irreplaceable technology and Mr. Dohian continuously comforting the staff, the team of organizers probably would have fallen apart a long time ago. It's obvious why Concilio keep kept running into that end before Mr. O'Hang and sponsored him famously. About the competition, you can go and take a look at the promotion board if there is anything else you're unsure about that. Let's take a the progression of the competition on the promotion board. I heard that they are planning to include interactive events as well. The events will begin once the popularity of the competition reaches a certain point. They might even start to sell a competition highlight film after the competition progresses to a certain point. 
what determines if the competition is popular or not? This sounds like a pretty harsh requirement, don't you think? The competition venue isn't exactly outstanding. You sure it's gonna work? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that at all. The city of Sumero Commerce, Vicala Funduk, is right next to the arena. And the bridge to the harbor is not too far off either. Any track that moves through the area will definitely be able to see the venue. Besides, we've also put a promotional poster on the bulletin board in Sumero City. Many of, the many of the competitors and audience are here because they saw it. And we too. And we saw it too. So you were the one that put up that very advertisement on that bulletin board. Uh, it's pretty good, right? Now I must say right marketing material is one of my strong suits. And then some of the reporting for the competition too. I'll do my best to describe your performance excitedly. This is like a charge of a lot of the work that's been done here. From managing the floral jelly and organize the event to writing promotional material and reporting. Oh, it's not compared to the salary that Mr. O'Hank is paying me. I'm being paid 10 times what I was making before. Anyways, Mr. O'Hank is paid it best. And he said that those capable should take on more responsibility. I'm more than willing to give my all to a boss like him. Oh, it's not that. Okay. Please make sure you use for jet according to the instructions of the recipe. Oh, I can get many more. Oh, so there will probably be bigger ones. Uh, there's still water, wind, and danger. Oh, I, I didn't... No, this is water. Uh, okay, pyro. Uh, you water bomb, but with prison, you burnt in shows that you have a breath. Everyone, you got to know. Breeze <laughs> water service. There's children. So, from Slater, yet. For voice, but powerful head. Fast and agile fungus. Is that benefits very entertaining with from Warrior? Water. Also, I haven't really paid too much attention to the fungus. Uh, I guess there are more than one shape for. Yeah, I guess I've seen pyros like that and pyros like that. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, that. Um, do I have a minimum amount or? Oh, okay, how many moves I hit? Okay. But is there a minimum of salt that I should aim for or no? Okay. Let's copy each other to copy the color of the section for any other. Okay. <laughs> I only have one. Okay, so what date? What date? And copy.
such a place of pre existing formula directly onto the corresponding slot. So, make it purple, purple. Find mm, another purple. No, yeah. Just the end of pounds. Ah, I don't have uh Okay, we bet worth it would just get in the way anyway. Okay, we're done. So Bongohead and buddies should be able to fight at full power now. We still have some time before the qualifiers start. Maybe we should spend some more time training our fun guy. We haven't trained them, we just fed them. Oh. I'll rather capture one of each type first and then go train them. Time to go. Yeah, maybe I should have walked through. Oh, there's some people here. It's an opportunity. It's such a good opportunity. You are? Are you talking to me? Well, as you can see, I'm just a lowly merchant from Mostad. The king getting to on the action. I was originally here on vacation, but when I heard about the competition, I couldn't help but come and take a look. And wow, did I discover an amazing opportunity. Unfortunately, I couldn't convince the organizers and my proposal was declined. This really sucks. So, you got a merchant side awakened. Uh, money never made is money lost. Uh, don't worry about it, there's always next time. No. I'm not upset, I just think it's a shame. Uh, I really don't feel like they tapped into the commercial potential of this competition. They didn't even put up any booths around the main vein. Uh, there's not even a rest area by the domain where most of the contestants are. Uh, they could at least put a small snack thing here. If it were up to me, I would arrange for limited edition competition souvenirs. Toys and coloring books starting from the very first round. And more food and beverage stains we could feed the better. Uh, not only would we have to provide a day's worth of meals to the competitors, we'd also need to serve as many members of the audience as possible. Uh, and it seems like they installed a lot of film cameras around the arena. I think they're making some kind of documentary film. We could sell that for a good price as well. I'm sure the devices to play the film wouldn't be cheap either. Anyways, there are great opportunities for monetization in every facet of this competition. It really doesn't sound like there are a lot of ways to make money here, however the organizers and their sponsor don't seem to be short on more, and they don't care about whether the competition makes money or not. Well, that's the problem. Even if, if they're doing this for some noble cause, they can still use the funds they've earned and invest them in future competitions to create a healthy cycle. I don't think that the sponsor behind this competition has any business sense. 
they seem to be a rookie. No, now they seem to have some ulterior motive that I haven't figured out yet. They seem to be the type who suddenly came in into a bunch of Mora, then spurged mindlessly. What are they thinking? Oh, what an unforgiving merchant. You have no mercy for your peers. Maybe it's because you think about things more through. Uh, that's something I wouldn't mind hearing twice. Thank you. However, compliments don't mir miraculously turn into more. Okay, what about this one? Uh, the clear speed was even faster this time. You are speed. Be careful. You are. Are you also participating in the in Lopala? I think they didn't say the D. I think they said Nilopala Cup. How could you not know who am I? Who I am? An empty headed outsider with a flying white mushroom. Uh, you guys look so weak. Who do we fool and play Spymo to fight? Wait, I don't think that's a mushroom. Well, that makes no difference. Spymo, you're a shroom buddy now. That's not the point. She's so cocky. What are you talking about? Uh, this is what you would call an intimidating aura. I... I... Jelena. I... I... Lena. Dash. Was the first to become an adult in the I... Lena. That gang. My lackey is all look up to me. I worked the far... I work the fastest, earn money the fastest, read the fastest, and run the fastest. I'm faster than everyone else. Do you each? And that's the fastest too. That's right, everyone tells me that I can eat I yeah, that's as fast uh, as lightning. If there was an alien I Lena at the eating contest, I win even after drinking a couple tanks of water. Let's wait for nickname. But it does look like you're now. You are the one that's empty headed. You know, I got my eyes on you, flying white mushroom. Just make sure you don't start bawling when I defeat you. Then again, I might forget who you guys are by then. After all, there are so many people in the competition, you guys hardly make an impression. Just pray that you don't cross paths with me. I land a dash, or will be beaten into the ground by, by my phone guy. Uh, we should have definitely used those two awesome nicknames. That was another one speed. That's right, my phone guy and I have come up with a speedy strategy that can be beaten. On my command, my phone guy will immediately swarm the opponent. And there's no way of it. Uh, isn't that same as blindly charging at your opponent? Is there, if there's a mismatch in overall strength, wouldn't you just lose immediately? Well, what are you talking about? Everyone's fungi are relatively the same strength. It's obvious whoever's faster will win. Stories of instantly defeating four opponents at sa on the same skill level only exist in fairy tales. Flying when mushroom. I dare you to try it next time if you don't believe me. You're all just extra practice for me before I become champion anyway. There are quite a few containers, but I'm willing to bet on us remember who you are either. Besides, there's nothing to gain from beating you, but I really can't find any motivation. I'm assuming you can beat me, even though it's highly unlikely. I'd be willing to recognize your strength and treat you to some most delicious candid I Lena nuts. Uh, the most delicious candy I laid on nuts. Uh, I wonders how they taste. Okay. Uh, in the fungus fungus frenzy gameplay mode, your elemental skill will be changed to the focus command, which can command all the fungi in your team to attack a single target. Click on the corresponding button or after select the fungus to unleash the skill, um, which is a powerful ability that can help you take control of the battle. Each of a fungi can only use its skill a limited number of times. Pick up 
plauditory protections that appear during the battle to increase the number of uses their skills have. Plauditory protections can only exist for a limited duration of time. Make sure to pick them all the time. During the manage assault, you must combine fungi and destroy the zones. And when it's time, defeat the opponents. If you're fungi, you lose in process. The higher best score will be. During the zone defense challenge, you must combine fungi, defend the line only. leaves. The damage only if you're sick, if you're the last okay. okay, too much thing stuff. Uh, okay, but that's like. Hey, there's a guy over there. There's less one. Okay, let's check this out. Ah, but you're an audience. Oh, my little brothers don't go running off. You look worried. Uh, could it be that you forgot to turn off the stove before leaving the house? Nah, I checked twice already. The stove and the firewood in the fireplace are both definitely put out. Just worry about my two energetic younger brothers. They run around and occasionally get into trouble. I think they recently started hanging out with the kids from the Ailena, that gang. Uh, they're nice kids, but they'll definitely become overweight if they keep chomping down those Ailena, that's in the sweets. If it continues, not even the Sumter Beasts will be able to carry them. I don't like sweets too. Hey, that's because Paimon isn't picky about food, okay? Uh, there's nothing to worry about there. Besides, if Paimon becomes so happy that not even some of their beats will be able to carry Paimon, then we wouldn't need to worry about any monsters we run into because Paimon could perform a plunging attack and easily crush them. Okay, was How much do you wait now, Paimon? Uh, okay, it's the same thing. We asked how much fluctuates. If you float, uh, you wait. Uh, yeah, this should eventually explain how she floats. Uh, I'm far from being strong enough to compete. I'm just an ordinary chef that here should take a look. My two little brothers. Uh, keep, kept trying to persuade me to join the competition because they want to play with the fungi that I couldn't even figure out how to use the wisdom or properly and I didn't even make it into the preliminaries that's why I have such admiration for qualified competitors such as you guys we never noticed that there was a learning curve if you use the wisdom arm it's not all bad though I that member named Belford has tasted my food and before an uh, image immediately recognized me. He asked if I want to provide meals for the competitors I said that it was a good business opportunity. Unfortunately, it didn't work out since the special training facility for the competitors is a little too far away from Port Ormus, but I agreed to help him out next time. I just don't understand why he picked me when there are so many other talented chefs to look, choose from. Maybe because the, the other chefs are too expensive and Belfort wanted to cut costs. Maybe it's because Belfort really lost your food. Have some faith in yourself. Okay. <laughs> All those people are pointless to talk to. Uh, okay. Yeah. But they are all open already. Okay. So, ah, okay. Mm. 
Mm. Healing support by impact. Formation of fulcrum. Mm. Come up buff. Okay. I'm gonna get hurt. I don't think I have the power to do Let's wait. So, despite this, if I was saying that was to train fungi, I don't think this made them stronger. Did it? It's nearly time. Let's get ourselves over to the new Otpala Cup qualifiers. 
Okay, let's do the rest of that afterwards. Gentlemen, the Niluth Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport, not a fight to the death. <laughs> I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why Elhingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. But Caltilia, on the other hand... <sighs> Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, beast tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Oh, good thing Alhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! Hmm, so I know. Let's come to this station too. She's the first one. I'm not reading their profile. We should run your computer. Skill potential. I have to choose the one. Okay. Oh, she's there. Ha! Huh. Huh. Didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Yeah, you were the first one. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast. Don't blink or you'll miss it. 
Don't be nervous, Bongohead. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. Yeah. It's just a bug catcher. Fungi fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before, and it's super fun. That beast hammer and her fungi work together pretty well, almost as well no. as the two of us. No, let's say once you have tried fighting, your saint remove will be super no slap. That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Nico and Layla! How's it going for you so far? Twirly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knocked the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first-round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game. All right, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock. Let's get to it! No, I don't get to know. You want to accompany me go to the training location. The main? The view oh. here is oh. wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time, snack time! Wait a second, aren't we here for training though? Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. 
Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send Mitotrolls flying. Would you gladly comply? Buff mom. Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! See? You and he have a very strong bond. But that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. Let's turn off the Wisdom Orb. Yeah, it takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? happy to. Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before! Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. If this theory is correct, Little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology! The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship! I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the Almighty Merchant. Paima wants to get to know the real Bongo Head, too. Let's try deactivating our Wisdom Orb, shall we? Mm, what makes the Wisdom Orb so effective? Is Cochilia in possession of some great technology unknown to other scholars? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai? Do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzara when you're knee-deep in the water. Or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> oh, my head's a floating idol fungus. Oh, his always playing in the water. Right. Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Bongo Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. Responding. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Something's not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help! Hurry! Let's go check it out! I follow the wind. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> Time to go.
What are you doing here? Hania? You saved the children? I happened to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous! Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured, so I kept my distance. People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Pala cup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. Mermaids become too popular for its own good. I try to solve one problem, it's creating. I'm another. putting an end to this debacle. First chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, they'll be mine to do with as I please. Mm. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro One! Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks. You're clearly enjoying the event. I'm quite certain Pyro One would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Wait! Don't go! We turned off our Wisdom Orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Looks like she's made up her mind. Oh my, such a standout personality. And with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Miko? Layla? Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few, and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. She's a bad expressive fungi. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment. But some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature, just like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures! No matter what Ania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to! You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? Uh, we'll train hard. We'll keep bounding with our fungi. That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifier should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages.
Our own big foot. This potion is really capable of bringing out the crab powers in the fungi. I, uh, yeah, when I was younger, I traveled most and I loved working in the cold. My peers call me the Bigfoot. Now that I've joined this competition, it would only be right that I carry all my own habits. And that's why my fungus team will be centered around Gustav Frosto to maximize the cryo effects. Why would you tell us all about your fungus? What if we get matched against each other? Using extra information to secure victory is a useful tactic, but not my style. After all, this is just competition, not some kind of cutthroat battle. Fairness is very important to me, so it wouldn't make a difference if I told you. Uh, can we get more? And they capture more. Ah. Ah, okay. Where is the dango? Okay, Power Attack Buff, Blaze Sword, Sparking Spores, Blaze Sword, Green Hair, Float Well, Blossom. Okay, is there more here? Time to go. You are not welcome here, but I will have order. Solidify! Can't see? I'll uproot you! How regretful. Win 
and strike. Stabilize. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight. One with the forest. Need. I'm getting sick of this game. Positions. Is the other? Retribution. Uh, is that from Look, It's time for Retribution. <laughs> Flame Breath, Fire Punch. Okay, it's Retribution. Uh, Shroom Tower, Super Shrew, Storm Corn. Super Shrew. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I've got them all. Okay, that's obviously. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Even shop. Hmm, I still don't have any. Fomos capture income some potential. I just captured Fomos. Okay. Shouldn't have met her. Shouldn't she be part of the event so far? Oh. Oh, I don't know the rest. Hmm. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, go to challenge. Where is that? Huh, not too far. Time to go. Yeah. Yeah. This is order. Oh, that helps. Let's nip that in the butt. In shroud. Head skill from um, skill from what's the name another? Maybe this name was on the other one. Bone Strider, Weedy Head, Spark Dart, Ring Thunder, Ella Beach, Spark Dart. Alright. 
No. Too many. Okay. In this one is for battles. Okay. Um, can I teleport there? Okay. Time to go. Time to go. I said green, blue, green, but it's blue, green, blue. Okay, this works here, here, but I'll screw this up, so... I need to update... That. No... No, I... Work with that. I mean, I can't. No. What happens when I actually screw things up? And now they aren't workable anymore. No. Okay, I better switch those two. No. Oh, whatever. It doesn't seem to matter. Oh, maybe it matters for the prices. I didn't pay attention to that. Um, okay. No, uh, no. No, screw this up. Come on. Okay. Green, blue. Uh Okay, I have to get rid of one of the blues because I'll get an extra one. Yeah, simple. Okay, orange, red, and yellow. One of each, okay. So, what I got extra here, okay. Yeah, switch, switch. You <laughs> may look at the side too to see if I was placing them on the right. 
the lines. Oh, two. Uh, okay, I got an extra red one here. And uh, I'm missing one green. Okay. I still got an extra red. And I'm missing a blue, so this one. No, I should have, no, here first, and now here. Okay, um, okay, I'm missing reds, so I'm gonna need to choose both here, and now... Which I got extra here. So let's switch here. One of each. No, switch. Uh, here first. No, it doesn't make chippers here. I will have to walk all the way to the side. Okay, last one. So, here. Okay, good. Well, let's see what we have here. Okay, that works for everything. Seven moves. Ah, oh, nice. I think the one took the most was five, maybe six. Ah, and now I can go to those challenges. But I only did the first one here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, are they as strange as they can be? So, you know what, I think I'm gonna continue that. Uh, hang on, let me check. I have that. Uh, now I have some of those. Okay. I still need those. Those are for battles. Special training. Hmm, which is that? Yeah, that's a special training, okay. Hey, I didn't even notice the guy outside. Hang on. What are you doing here? Who are you? Oh, it's, it's just you. Uh, I mean, if it isn't the tournament favorites. What are you here for? I hope it's feedback on your wisdom orbs. Having any issues? Jeez, no need to be so impatient. Hey, take that back. I'm very busy, okay? If you can't provide any useful feedback, then run along and focus on the competition. I'm busy gathering data to advance the efficiency and functionality of the wisdom orb. Oh, well, maybe we don't have time to talk to you either. Hmm. Next time you want feedback, go climb a random hill somewhere and talk to some mushrooms. 
No, we're dropping some frames. So cool. Hey, too. Are you here to train your fungus as well? How's your training going? Everything's going great. My ace fungus stormtrace is performing spectacularly. I relied almost solely on storm stress for my entire preliminary round. It also helped me realize that there are weaknesses in my team. Yep, the story's climax or our protagonist's fall will only make sense if you tell the reader about the underlying issue ahead of time. That's pretty much what the preliminary round means to a beast tamer like me. Looking at it from this perspective, storm stress has been extremely important to me. It's like a classic companion of a, any protagonist. So is in the zone of the sun, she's amazing. Okay. And I'm gonna be her now, on the how's the inspiration coming along? And to be honest, there hasn't been any progress outside of the competition itself. Lady I said that now that I've signed up for the competition, my priority should be to adopt a beast tamer mentality. Then get into character as fast as I can. If I can do that, I'll be able to find new ideas for my piece in each and every round I go into. However, even though the main storyline of a novel is about a competition and each round serves as an important chapter, there are still blanks in between the chapters that need to be filled with daily life and subplots. Uh, all I have right now is an online that doesn't include the day life itself. I have no idea how to refine it. If I were to travel around sightseeing with Lady Eye, maybe I'd be able to find some inspiration. Wouldn't you be too nervous? Yeah, it feels like you're too nervous to even speak when me goes around. Would you be able to sleep for to travel with her? Climb on bats, you wouldn't be able to hold your own things so straight if the two of you had to eat together. Well, you're exaggerating. No, I'm not always in fear of Lady I rushing my writing. Uh, anyway, as a novelist, traveling with Lady I is the happiest and most honorable thing I could do. The inspiration that I'd be able to find will last me years. Okay. So, I guess I should come around here in between each battle to check who's training. Some stage can switch support fungi into combat if want. Oh. against the water one. Mm, I can bring any of the fungus here. Yeah, I'll actually have both of them. Whatever. So let's 
open this one. Uh, maybe I will need that. Oh, I don't can place. Okay, I only have one. So, mm, yeah. This takes a little while. Okay, so now I'll remove that. Get that one, and here. there's no, there's not much point. Bad that I lost one, or that's okay. Hmm. 
Okay, just points. There's nothing far missing them or anything. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll probably finish this today and leave the ch the rest of the actual competition for tomorrow. Okay, I can take anyone here. This wind heals as well. Yeah, not really everything everybody does. Okay, so you will probably be good. You two you you hmm? recommend that one, okay. Let's press the one there, and you'll go as support. Put up his left throw.
it's it down for the next round, no? Uh, okay, I don't really need that. Um, two pyros and... I gotta need to heal them. Well, that's one that I should heal actually. So it was off points, but I didn't pay attention. 2000, okay. 2000 for everyone. And this one, also 2000. Okay. So I can just check what's in the. that this cryo uses on its own location. 
Okay, so what about everything? The water. Uh, electro, 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 electro. Wings mm, or traffic. Bed of explosions and you to heal if I need. Maybe I can get her ready. Kind of explosions would be good with the king.
insane. Um, let's have a healer and then attack, attack, attack. is good, that's good, okay, let's press another like that, and then kill with that, if you need to. The defense may be harder. I can't really avoid enemies from walking. Done. Okay, let's start with the first. I'm gonna start closer on the other ones. Um, 
Okay, just pretty short, so we'll have to one of each. The one I didn't catch. Okay, hydro, so bio, arrow, that, that, and you. Uh, 
I didn't pay attention, but this time it's just one round. Okay. Pyro. This one will be helpful, and I can use the other healer. Oh, they aren't aiming so much. Okay, you. And no, yeah, you, and then here you. seems to be really bad yeah we try I'll be able to choose again right against them against this one against the specters them you ain't ah uh, that's what I wanted you to aim at
they don't die. Come on. Okay, so I draw, cryo, you, and you. Let's bring you here. Okay, one more. Wow, 3000. I didn't pay attention, but I think this one time doesn't matter. It's just the life of the. What's the name of the thing? Just wood shoots. Okay, so pyro, pyro. Uh, let's place one electro in water. No, you to heal. 
it in, in case I need... No. You. Seventy already. Go for that. Are just the first three enemies, four, I guess, there were three hitchers. No, um, okay, I need pyro against those shoots. <sighs> Explosions are good, maybe a bit of crowd control. Okay, 2000 is for 50. Okay, crowd control and, and pyro were good here. And with that, we are done here. Okay, that's probably as much as I can get of those. Oh, hang on. Okay, fungi archive, please. Okay. No. Oh, I have finished the quest. Okay. What I. No, I just have to collect. Uh, Consume the fall. Oh, it consumes. Okay, but we usually, usually can get everything right. Which one I have the least?
Okay. There will be another. Okay, that's better than I use. Two and not two. Get her. Good. Yeah. The next time I play, I'll continue that. Nice fungus. Oh, and does it change depending on which one I'll... I'm using more? None. Ah, here's talk about us. Here both will talk about her, but here it's talk about me. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Her, Miko, Layla, then. Okay, I need somebody else, and then the. I forgot her name already. <laughs> Good, okay, so tomorrow or after I'll complete that. And today I'm gonna stop here. Oh, hang on, I, I still haven't gotten that either. I don't know if I spend it all, right? Yeah, okay, great, I don't have to spend more. <laughs> I can save now for the next time. Great, I got her. I still don't have that that one. But what do I have right now that fits her? Hmm. I guess this one looks better on her at the moment. So that girl, what should I put on her stuff? Hmm. I got that. No, uh, I got that. Maybe it's good. Moment speed. Let me get damage bonus. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. I, I tested her, but I didn't read anything. I'm not sure how her abilities. Uh, it should be just support or just or if she can be a good oh this one fits her oh if she should be a dps main dps or something but i'll probably change tarnari in my party because he's already a max friendship level and that's it mm. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Okay, it's over. Good. <laughs>